Kepler-69c is an exoplanet, and it's approximately 2,700 light-years away from Earth. It shares the name of the Kepler Space Telescope, which made the discovery. Now, what makes this exoplanet particularly fascinating is that it falls within the habitable zone of its host star, Kepler-69. But what's the habitable zone, you ask? The habitable zone, also known as the Goldilocks zone, is the region around a star where conditions might be just right for liquid water to exist on a planet's surface. And as we all know, if there's water, there's also a possibility of life. So, what do we know about Kepler-69c itself? Well, let's talk about some of its lead characteristics. First, Kepler-69c is about 70% larger than Earth, making it a super-Earth. It's a rocky exoplanet, and its size places it firmly in the category of terrestrial planets, similar to our own Earth. Now, here's where it gets interesting, its orbit. Kepler-69c orbits its host star at a distance that's about 0.64 times the distance between Earth and the Sun. That means it receives a similar amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. This energy is crucial because it plays a significant role in determining the habitability of a planet. Kepler-69c is in the honest temperature range for liquid water to exist. And as we mentioned earlier, where there's water, there's a possibility of life. Now, the big question, is Kepler-69c habitable? Firstly, we don't yet know much about its atmosphere. An atmosphere can have consequences on a planet's ability to support life. Without the right mix of gases, like oxygen and nitrogen, it might not be habitable as we know it. Also, its surface conditions could vary widely depending on factors like its atmosphere and geological activity. It's a bit of a mystery at this point, 